And now to this rushing water washes out a road in Santa Clarita, making that road totally impassable, at least for a time. Yeah, KCAL's Jeff Nguyen is live to show us the damage and the danger this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Jeff? Susie and Juan, we've been seeing cars do a 180 once they get up to that yellow tape right there. And the drivers don't even realize what's going on until they get over that hump right there. In addition to all of this rushing water, there are plenty of rocks and debris moving through it. Earlier, we got an example of why you really don't want to test your luck in this. Listen to the roaring sound of this creek that busted through Roadrunner Road near Sand Canyon in Santa Clarita. The force was strong enough to knock this pickup truck off the pavement and into the running water. Anthony Del Villar tried to drive through here as well. I think I hit like a pretty big rock right in the middle and I just felt, I felt like something just like damaged my car. From Sky Cal, you can see the overflowing creek and this is the aerial view of street flooding at another part of Sand Canyon where a car took the risk of driving through the running water. It's always so dry over here in Santa Clarita, so um, usually I, I think that's great, but then when it goes on for a long time, sure, I get worried about um, if anybody is experiencing mudslides or things like that. In Studio City, water pooled up at the corner of Moore Park Street and Tahunga Avenue. In some spots, the intersection was about shin deep. Edwin Quinones had to wade through the crosswalk on his way to work at Aroma Cafe. Oh, you mean uh, Lake Moore Park? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a, a tough one for me. Let's do an order of curly fries. Let's do ranch. The rain certainly impacted business, but customers who did show up wanted a bit of comfort food. Our most popular item is probably our chocolate chip bread pudding, as on a day like this, it's so rainy, it's like it kind of creates that atmosphere for wanting to be cozy with a nice coffee. Back in Santa Clarita, the overflowing creek is causing Anthony Del Villar to miss work at a facility that helps children. I take care of uh, these animals that for these kids. Um, I'm a, actually a therapist for the animals and the kids. And at this point, it is unclear when the road here will be able to handle cars again. We did speak with the LA County Department of Public Works earlier, which tells us that there has been no reports of any major mudslides during this storm in its jurisdiction. For now, we are live in Santa Clarita. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. All right, Jeff.